Hello, welcome back, it's Lynx. The 2022 tax season is upon us now. I figured it'd be a great time to talk about doing your taxes as an independent musician, as well as managing money. Full transparency, I actually just recorded this entire video and my mic wasn't all the way plugged in, so there was absolutely no sound. So here we are saying everything again. Managing money is an extremely important and very useful skill to have. Unfortunately, managing money isn't taught in schools and we are just sort of thrusted into this world where it's a very important thing, but especially as a freelancer, if you're a musician or artist or creative, tax season and managing money can get pretty freaking bogus. Just gonna talk it out with you guys here. This morning I actually just had a call with a financial advisor, which is completely new for me. I thought I'd share some of the things that she talked about with me with you guys. The first thing that she told me, you may do this already, and if you do, that is fantastic. Please keep going and doing it. But something that I was actually quite new at doing was actually writing a list of all of my income. So keeping an organized list, and I just do it on a Google Doc and I'll show you it most likely in the future. I'm still getting the hang of how exactly I wanna set it up, so it's just easy to read for me. In the future, I'll definitely show you guys too, but it's just not quite where I want it to be yet. Keeping a very detailed track of what you're making each month. If you're a freelancer, I understand that it is always all over the place. Like, we're not salaried workers, right? So I don't know that I'm going to make like a certain amount every year. It's completely not like that at all. There's no way of really predicting. So if you're in a case like this, it's especially important to write down every little thing that you're making. If you're like me and you have multiple streams of income, it's so easy to just be like, okay, like, you know, it's just kind of getting thrown at you and you don't know, you know, what's coming in and what's going out, etc. Keep track of how much you're, you're taking in. I didn't know how much I was making. I just kind of like, it was just working and I was surviving and I was like, okay, this is great. But I never had like, an actual idea of how much I was making. So now I have a much better idea of what's what's coming in. I've written it all down. I'm gonna start fresh for 2022. So for all of January, I have everything that I've made. The other thing you wanna do is write out all your expenses, whether that be rent for your apartment, you know, car payment, insurance, you know, phone, whatever it is, write all of the expenses that you will definitely need to be paying out each month. The goal here is obviously to just be making more than you're spending. And when you are writing out your expenses, definitely factor in all those miscellaneous charges too. If you have cats, say, like mine situation, cat litter or, you know, cat food, etc., things like that, definitely factor that in. And if you're unsure of what that is, just take the last like three months or five months or so, take a look at some of these miscellaneous charges or even charges for fun, uh, going out to dinner, etc. See how much that you've been spending. Um, for that and average it out. And then you can sort of make a decision there on how much you should budget for that sort of thing. Put it all down there in an organized manner so you feel less overwhelmed when this season comes around. By the way, I have a tax video that I've made last year. If you haven't checked that out, please check it out here. I talk about fundamental things. This is just sort of an updated version of it. But as I explained in that video, basically as a contractor, money isn't being taken out of your account for taxes, right? So usually you are working a corporate job or whatever, the taxes are just automatically taken out of your account and you don't have to worry about that because you just basically never saw it in the first place, right? You were never paid it. When you're an independent contractor or you're freelancing, taxes aren't being taken out of your account. So what's gonna happen when tax season comes around is you're going to start owing money back to the government. So that's where things get a little tricky. You always wanna start budgeting a good amount of money for when tax season comes around because you are most likely going to have to pay back a significant amount. So make sure that you are setting aside money. Basically, you're responsible for doing your taxes. So I've done my taxes for the past many years and this is just what happens. I tend to just owe a bunch of money back to the government, right? Because taxes haven't been taken out of mine, check. Our income is coming from a bunch of different places. What I do now is just after each month, I actually do it by the week because it varies week by week. I write down everything I made and where the money came from. So if it's lessons, you know, if I taught X amount of lessons, this is how much I made for this week. Maybe I got a commission one week and I didn't get it the next week. You just write down where it came from and how much it was. If you get into the practice of doing that, just at once a week, just sitting down and writing it down. It's a good practice to just get into, especially when everything is so unpredictable with what 
we do in our career, only a useful tool for you moving forward just to be that much more involved and aware of what's going on in your bank account. The other thing we talked about was a retirement fund. <laughs> So being completely transparent here, I don't have one set up. I've never had one set up. I also didn't understand that as a contractor, this was something that was a possible option for me either. One thing we talked about was a Roth IRA, which is basically a retirement fund that is available to contractors or freelancers, and you can start putting money away in it for your retirement. If you're an employee at a company, usually you know there's a 401k or whatever, and there's benefits and you, are paying into your retirement and social security, but that's not something that happens when you're a freelancer. Again, it's not spelt out for you at all and you have to sort of look into this stuff alone on your own because no one's gonna tell you about it. So thank goodness I talked to an actual financial advisor because I now I know that this is something I can do. If you are a freelancer or contractor, it is possible for you to start a retirement fund. So. Yeah. So as I move more into this journey, I will definitely share with you guys updates as I go along and as I figure it all out too. But moving into this tax season, I hope that this information helps you. Just try and prepare yourself for it because it can just be a bit of a large sum. <laughs> And it's just generally a really good practice to just be aware of what's going on financially. So budgeting, keeping track of everything, and just making sure that you are still saving while you are spending, putting a little bit aside for when this time of year comes around, as well as for emergencies, etc. Just good practice. In other news, I know I haven't exactly announced this officially yet, really at all on YouTube, but I am making an album. I have been making an album. It's been really slow and I've just accepted that it's going to be a very slow process to get it done at this point, especially because I've taken on new jobs and way more students now and more classes. And I teach during the times I usually would be working on the music. I basically work on it like once a week, if that. It's coming along slowly but surely. If you want updates on the album specifically, like works in progress, excerpts about what the music is gonna be about, etc. I do update all of that on my Patreon. So if you're interested in following that journey of making my album and just hearing it all come together, watching the songs come to be their final form, please consider supporting my Patreon. I will include a link to it right here as well as in the description. But again, yeah, if you're looking for information about the album and all of that good stuff, please check out my Patreon. I hope that this video will help you as you file your taxes this year and into the next coming years. Again, I will update these as I go on and as I figure out more and more about this crazy mess of an existence. I really do hope that it, it helps you along your way. It can be pretty scary stuff being a contractor, being a freelancer, having to deal with all this stuff on your own, but you are not alone. I'm here with you dealing with the same old stuff. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know in the comment section. Like and subscribe if you wanna stay updated on my videos and I will see you next week.